Hey, welcome to this. This is Linux Mint. And this is Ubuntu. But what if we reskin Linux Mint to look like Ubuntu and make something that I like to call Ubuntu Mint? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. We're on the laptop. So let's turn it on. The USB stick is already in and we should just boot up into Ventoy. So let's just boot up into Linux Mint here. Come on, start. So we should be getting a signal on the um, on the monitor in a second. So let's get prepared by readjusting the camera. Yep, there we go. So, yep, Linux Mint logo. So now let's cut to the desktop. There we go, we're in. Now you can just see the um, desktop background here. So we're gonna open up settings. You can't even see it. There we go. So let's scroll down and go into display and turn off that display, apply. Uh, yes, keep new configuration. That looks good. Let's install Linux Mint. So, welcome. You may wish to read the release notes. Well, I don't want to read the release notes. Continue. Uh, English, UK, continue. Okay, multimedia codex. Yes. Preparing Ubuntu drivers. I don't know why I'm moving the cursor around like this, but anyway. The installer has detected that the following disks have mounted partitions. Uh, no, I do not want to unmount them. That's the USB. Um, this computer has no detected operating systems. Erase disk. Continue. Install now. Uh, continue. Uh, yes, I am in London. And my name is Whale. I'm just going to call it HP Stream 11. Second time I did that, Whale770AA, that was the second time I did that, second time I put a lowercase p, just to clear that up, but yeah anyways, we are, we're waiting, and there we go, we are now installing, this will take around 20 minutes, so let's just start a time lapse while we wait. Here we go, we are in light to DM. You can't even see it, but I just typed my password in. Oh hey, connection established, nice. So I'm gonna need to um, set everything up here again with the, um, what should we call it? With the display settings. Just turn that off, apply. There we go. Yep, keep. So now, Next thing that we're gonna do is open up a terminal and type in sudo apt install Ubuntu GNOME desktop. Okay, it's done. Nice. So um, we are just gonna sudo reboot because um, GDM stuff, I need to reboot in order to use GDM for some reason. I know I could just do systemctl start GDM, but to be honest, that's no fun. I just want to reboot just to make sure everything is done properly. Okay, GDM has just loaded up and it even has the Ubuntu logo. If you can see just over there, that's the Ubuntu logo. So we're gonna log in and um, do the whole video settings thing. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Um, if I will just zoom into the laptop in post, then I'll just do that. So anyway, connect your online accounts. Welcome to Ubuntu. Did I just say well? Welcome to Ubuntu, because this is definitely Ubuntu. Uh, I'm just gonna go settings here. Uh, single display, apply. Okay, there we go. So, uh, keep changes. 
Okay, I get it. Skip. Oh uh, no, don't send system info. Welcome to Ubuntu. Yeah, because this is definitely Ubuntu. You can use software to install apps like these. What apps? What can I use software to install? And the open software now button does what appears to be nothing. So I'm just going to put that there. And what did I get out of the second? settings application i need the settings application so you might realize now that all of the um all the icons and everything is off not anymore the i'm just gonna set that to dark mode just for now and set it to purple because purple is my favorite color anyway we're just gonna keep this um bar like that uh, updated software has been issued since Ubuntu 21... Ubuntu 21.3! Yeah, because that's definitely a real Ubuntu version. So anyway, I am going to need to do some bloatware removal. So yeah, now there's just one problem. We don't have the Ubuntu software center. First things first, I'm just going to turn off Bluetooth. And actually remove this icon. Exit. There we go. So let's open up a terminal. And it even goes the Ubuntu purple colour thing. Let's zoom into that terminal here. And go sudo apt install gnome software. I'm not maximising the terminal this time just because. Okay. There we go. So now let's get out of that. And software. Now as you can see. This software icon does not look like the Ubuntu software icon, it just looks like the, the GNOME software icon. However, Ubuntu software is just GNOME software under the hood. So let's readjust the camera and grab my USB stick. Where did I put that thing? Aha! So here, got the USB stick. So now let's stick the USB stick into the computer. And um... And here we go, here's our .desktop file that I have already pre-made. If we open it, it's seriously just regular um, software, but with the name changed and the icon changed. Just so I don't have to do it in this video, because I literally spent like half an hour doing this in a previous attempt that I don't have anymore. So yeah, I'm going to open this up and go into a terminal go sudo gedit slash user slash share slash applications slash orgs dot gnome dot software dot desktop come on you can do it okay there we go so i'm going to minimize that control a control c control a control v Hey, uh, save I mean. Saving file. There we go. So now if we look up software. It didn't do it. Oh, it did it. It did it. It did it. Add to favorites. Okay, and the icon and Ubuntu software. Nice. And we just need to move that down there. Close out all the windows. And there we go. We have successfully skinned Linux Mint to look like Ubuntu. I'm just going to close this terminal out as well. Oh, God. Mm. And remove this USB stick. Get over there. Now, there was another option if I um, log out of this session here. There was another option if I point this over. So if we click on Whale, you can see that there's another option for regular GNOME. So let's just log into regular GNOME and see how this will look. Okay. So this is just regular GNOME. Yeah. Um, no, do not show this dialogue at startup. So yeah, it's just regular GNOME, but with an Ubuntu icon theme. It's drawing drawing it's the first time you use drawing okay so it's just like ms paint the ms paint equivalent for um 
from GNOME. So, uh, what should I draw here? Um, let's draw a little guy here. Let's go black. Can I draw? Oh, yes, I can. There, that's our little guy. Now I'm just gonna save this as little guy dot png. Now where did I put that USB stick? Aha! So um just display little guy dot png on the screen, please. I'm gonna put little guy dot png on the um <sighs> I'm talking too much. I'm gonna put this image on the USB. There we go. I'm gonna eject you. Oh my god. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you wanna see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys. Does it actually show? Oh, it actually shows Ubuntu. That's why I was talking so slow so I can get there. Anyway. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye.